In this video, we'll talk about vitamin B9 or folate deficiency. We'll learn what are the classic symptoms of folate deficiency and the harmful effect of folate deficiency. Vitamin B9, also known as folate, is actually obtained from green leaf. Actually, folium means green vegetables or leafy greens. So the major source of folic acid is leafy greens, legumes, lentils, etc. For example, one tablespoon of boiled lentils contain 80 grams of folate and one bowl of spinach salad will contain approximately 75 grams of folate. Daily requirement of folate is kind of around 400 micrograms. In case of pregnancy, this demand is increased and it should be more than 400 microgram folic acid during pregnancy or when a woman want to be pregnant. So let me tell you why. All women who want to become pregnant should consume enough amount of vitamin B9 that means folate and vitamin B12 because both of these are important for the development of the brain of the baby. So there is a neural tube defect that occurs in the deficiency of folate. Now in the first trimester the key event that happens is the brain formation and the first event of brain formation is neural tube closure. Neural tube closure is important for proper formation of the brain because when it doesn't close it can lead to anencephaly or spina bifida like diseases. In order to avoid these kind of birth defects the mother should always take adequate amount of vitamin B9 and B12. Let's talk about the causes of vitamin B9 deficiency. The causes could be broadly twofold. First of all, there could be dietary deficiency, not having enough amount of leafy greens in your diet. And the second thing is pathophysiological reasons. For example, there could be several medications which can interfere with the activity of a vitamin B9, such as anti-epileptic agents, anti-neoblastic uh, agents such as methotrexate, antimicrobials or sometimes even oral contraceptive pills. All of these can interfere with folate metabolism. Other than that, pathological situations like chronic kidney disease, conditions that affect small intestines such as Crohn's disease, celiac disease, bacterial growth and parasitemia can also affect the absorption of vitamin B9 in the intestine. Then there could be alcohol abuse. Too much of alcohol abuse can reduce your vitamin absorption in the intestine. Lastly, it can also be associated with hemolytic anemia. Now folic acid is absorbed into the jejunum. That means a uh, last portion of your intestine. And there could be defects in the absorption that might lead to the deficiency. Now folic acid is broadly divided into three parts. One, there is a petrine ring. Second, there is a para-aminobenzoic acid moiety. And third, there is a glutamate chain. Now, in normal cases, folate is present in polyglutamate form. But generally, it has to be broken down into monoglutamate form in order to be absorbed into the intestinal lumen. So once folate gets absorbed into the intestinal cells, it gets converted to tetrahydrofolate with the help of the enzyme THF reductase or tetrahydrofolate reductase. And this is a very important step in multiple biochemical pathways. Visual symptoms of folate deficiency includes mouth sores, which takes a long time to heal, fatigue and tiredness. Now let's try to understand the biochemistry behind the folate deficiency. So as we have mentioned that folate gets converted to tetrahydrofolate and which in turn get converted to 510 methylene tetrahydrofolate. So this 510 methylene tetrahydrofolate is utilized to generate DNA. That means the key elements that are required for DNA synthesis such as the nucleotides. One such nucleotide is uh, DTMP. So DTMP cannot be synthesized if 510 methylene tetrahydrofolate is deficient. So obviously folate is important for DNA synthesis 
and this is specially important for the cells which are dividing at a rapid pace because they need to replicate their DNA, they need to synthesize new DNA. Intestinal cells has very high turnover and they are the one which gets affected by this kind of deficiency because with vitamin B9 deficiency DNA synthesis is abrogated and it slow down the turnover rate. So that is why vitamin B9 and vitamin B12 deficiency comes with several gastrointestinal problems. Now vitamin B12 deficiency is associated with folate utilization. Let me tell you why. Anyway, vitamin B12 is really important for epigenetic changes. So DNA methylation is one of them. And in order for methylation to happen, S-adenosyl methionine should provide the methyl group to methyl transferase. Question is where does S-adenosyl methionine come from? It comes from methionine. And indeed, methionine comes from homocysteine. By the way, if we walk back, we would see homocysteine is generated into methionine by the methyl group provided by vitamin B12. So if vitamin B12 is deficient, this methyl group cannot be provided and that would lead to a lot of problems. Anyway, vitamin B12 takes the methyl group from N5-methyl-THF and frees up tetrahydrofolate which can be utilized for other purposes. Now what happens during vitamin B12 deficiency is the N5-methyl-tetrahydrofolate cannot be converted into THF. As a result, folate gets trapped in the format of N5-methyl-THF. Now when folate tetrahydrofolate is low, then 510-methylene-tetrahydrofolate cannot be produced. And that is how the DTMP synthesis or further DNA synthesis is abrogated. So this is known as the folate trap. Anyway, another thing which is building up is the homocysteine. So homocysteine cannot get converted into methionine. So homocysteine is now excreted into the urine and this causes the homocysteinemia. Anyway, low levels of folic acid can cause megaloblastic anemia, which is a condition where the RBCs are larger than the normal, deformed in shape and fewer in number. So hematopoietic pluripotent stem cell give rise to erythrocytes as well. So in a sequential fashion, the erythrocyte differentiation takes place. In terms of folate deficiency, hematopoietic pluripotent stem cell forms macrocytes, which gets destroyed into the spleen and megaloblast, which are bigger in size. They are immature and they don't have that characteristic dumbbell shape of an RBC. So eventually these megaloblasts lead to megaloblastic anemia and reduction in the number of functional RBCs in your blood. Hematopoietic pluripotent stem cell can also lead to myeloid progenitor cells. These myeloid progenitor cell eventually creates uh, neutrophils but in this case of folate deficiency it leads to hyper segmented neutrophils which is a characteristic pathological features of vitamin B9 deficiency. Question is how folate deficiency can be detected? One of the great way to detect folate deficiency is to characterize the homocysteine level in the urine. Remember, homocysteine should get converted into methionine when vitamin B9 and B12 is present. But when there is a deficiency of folate, it doesn't get converted and this homocysteine is now getting secreted into the urine. So monitoring the level of homocysteine in the urine is a good measure. Other than that, peripheral blood smear can be performed from where you can identify the megaloblastic anemia, so the deformed RBCs, and also we can um, identify the hypersegmented neutrophil from these blood smear tests. So that's pretty much uh, defines how a patient is undergoing vitamin B9 deficiency or not. So you can get uh, notes and flashcards in my Facebook page. Do check it out. You can also find them in my Instagram Instagram page. All the links are provided in the description. You can support this channel in Patreon. Link is provided in the description. And if you want to support quickly, you can click on the super thanks icon which is present in the bottom, bottom right corner of the video. You can pay using PayPal, Paytm, UPI, etc. You can follow my uh, social media which are all provided in the description. You can also follow the Nerd Medic channel for exclusive medical related contents. All the links are provided in the description. You can find them there. 
So see you in the next video. If you have a specific suggestion, don't forget to put it in the comments.